latest CADs released by NVIDIA, the RTX 3050 and AMD's RX 6500 XT have highlighted one thing, that the bang for the buck CAD is the RX 6600 non-XT. Today, we are revisiting this CAD and Warzone, and for this test, we'll be running competitive settings at resolutions 1080p, 1440p, and maybe also 4K. We'll also be doing some overclocking, and as always, I'll break down and discuss about the performance of each segment at the later part of the video, and if you like what we do here in Nova Series PC, please support our totally independent testings by hitting that like button and subscribing. Anyway, let's get on with the videos, let's go! What? Bro, what are you talking about? Man? What the dog doing? ADP is a pretty decent experience, FPS is pretty good, usually from 120 and can go all the way up to 150, and saying this, we still have some headroom for our GPU as it hasn't been maxed out. Frame times are mostly stable with 6.5 GB of VRAM consumed, GPU power is maxed out here but is only at 100 watts, and that's pretty amazing power consumption. When we go up to 1440p, the RX 6600 non-XD becomes the bottleneck here, and because of this, our frame times would drop to 85 all the way up to 100. VRAM has also increased by 15% going to 7.3 GB. This is actually decent and playable. It's not competitive enough but it is a decent experience. Now we've also tried some quick overclocking here with our RX 6600 non-XT and we were only able to achieve a measly 3% overclock but it did help a little bit. On 1080p our FPS seems to hover mostly between 130 to 140 while at 1440p the overclock will push FPS output to high 90s. We also tried 4K resolution here for science and let me just tell you straight, um, it sucks. Like it really does suck. 45 FPS. Damn. When we compare this with our RTX 3050 performance, the RX 6600 non-XD is significantly superior than the RTX 3050. Even with balanced DLSEs, the RTX 3050 struggled with 1440p, whereas the RX 6600 was able to handle this easily without any form of upscaling or DLSEs. On 1080p, there is just no contest here, the RTX 3050 is so far behind even with balanced DLSEs. I'm actually looking forward as to when AMD releases that RSR update so we can finally see how it improves performance and of course affects visibility at higher resolutions like 1440p and 4K. We shall definitely retest this card when that upscaling feature is available. Now that you've seen how the RX 6600 performs, I want you to compare this with the RTX 3050. Click this video right here so you'll see the performance of the RTX 3050 in Warzone. And I'll see you guys in the next one.